and your guest money markets and in this video i'm going to guide you on how we can easily use zoho desk the first thing that you want to do is if you don't have an account scroll down below on the description click on the link and you will get it right here and now let's click try zoho desk if you already have an account guys completely skip this step okay so the first thing that you want to do is to add a full name mark stone email address i'm going to add an email from temporary mail that i have here and I will show you exactly how to do it. Phone number. And now this is the company name. And I agree to terms and service. Get started. You can, of course, connect it with the Gmail if you want to. And let's just wait uh, until it loads and until it creates account. And now, welcome to Zodesk. Get started. Set up some basic stuff in your Zoho desk. So let's click here, quick setup. And now, hi Marcus. Okay. Company logo. You can edit that and change it. So let's upload one if you have some. Click next. Then you can invite other people, invite agents. Then click next again. Uh, you're gonna have channels here as a live chat you can enable it social create a brand connect to your facebook twitter and instagram pages to easily handle the requests your customers make through social media so that's completely up to you what you're gonna enable and then you can have also those crm credentials if you have one other administrator email you can request access get started now when you Figure it out uh, the quick. We will get here to Zoho Desk. Before we start, I'm going to give you the walkthrough what we can actually find in Zoho. So when you would come here to the top left, you would see HQ, where you would find all the important analytics. Right under it, you would find feeds. This is like start collaborating with other people here, and you can message here. Then you can have views. These would be the tickets that needs to be solved. Agent Kwewe, if you have any agents, you would find it right here. Teams, if you have any teams, you would find it right here, and then tags. Now, these are the tickets. Then you're gonna have the help center right here. Community. Customers. And you would find all the contacts right here. And accounts. Reports. And this will be like advanced reporting activities and you can add a call add a task add an event see we will get to it here too social see you can create a brand here then social and you can get started and then you're gonna see chat here. So you can enable it if you want to. So this is something that you can do. Now let's refresh the website. And you can simply add a ticket, etc. So let me just start here and what you can actually do and how we can work with tickets. This was the walkthrough, what you can find. Here you're gonna see the tickets and let's open the ticket. And when you're going to open a ticket, you can see clearly that, okay, Lawrence, Zoho assigned to me, status open, due date, ticket information, phone, product name, skills. Then you would have like, here's your first ticket. And you see the one conversation right here. You can have suggested articles that you can use. And here you can apply macro. And you will be able to easily do it in settings. And then you can have the activity approval history and you can reply on the top right, or you can comment it or reply to all reply or forward. I can easily click reply. And voila, this is 
uh, this is the email and then I could easily write here hi there thanks for reaching out to us and now you can edit the text bold make it italic may change the font and everything you can also browse files and I can simply click send and as you can see we got conversation going up then how to apply macro this is something that is really important when you would go next to the settings and we would see automations here under blueprint we can find macros click on that and then go to the right create a rule and rule name so uh, you would just like edit here next all actions field updates save And you see right here that you can like add here assignment value name so description and you can really play around it as much as you want what will happen when something happens and like in the beginning Zodesk can be a little bit confusing as you might see that comparing to Zendesk or Freshdesk Zodesk is a little bit like Mamma Mia, what's happening. Also, the how it looks like is a little bit confusing and people can get lost in it. Maybe this will happen when a company got a lot of a lot of products, a lot of programs, you know. So that's how we do it. Then you have a resolution here, diamond tree, attachments activity approval what you can do is when you would click on activities next to social you can add a task here also add a call and task needs to be done project and you can choose also if you can have the ticket here you can just paste it and like if it's uh, because of ticket you can just change the due date and the contact name priority and that's pretty much it so this is how we can use guys i know this was like a quick tutorial on zoho desk what you can do so desk is really complex let me down in the comments if you like to have like long tutorial i can make it but for just introduction it is like this so thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.